3D printed claw. It has multiple attachments. Links and stuff will be down below. All right, assembly. Very simple. This piece will go here on your arm. Right? You see that? I'll put it together real fast. Anyway, this piece will connect like so. And this piece will go here. Okay, so I'm going to put all this together and then we'll go from there. So recessed. These are all the parts for the simple claw to hold like beverages and stuff like that. I won't hold anything too heavy, but anyway, let me start putting this bad boy together. But first, let me tell you, to save on support material and stuff, I sliced this in half so this piece could be flat on the bottom and I could turn this over. This piece could be flat on the bottom. All right, so anyway, let's put it together. This piece goes through here like so. Like so. <clears throat> All right. These are the claws, the clamps, whatever. I added some rubber bands for grip. And here's all the nuts and bolts. Like I said, everything is 3D printed. Let's put it together. The printer leaves a little lip on everything, especially at the ends. I don't know if you can see that or not. So it leaving a little lip on everything makes doing like nuts and bolts a little pain in the ass. But anyway, let's get back to it. The tighter you have it, of course, the harder it is to turn. Now, this piece here connects to this piece here. I'm saying, well, these don't have any nuts for them because they don't need any nuts. All they do is screw into this part right there. So what you do is you lay that flat, you decide the length in which you want. So for now I'm just going to go the first hole. So you just push it in. You turn it on. Turn, 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 turn. Put the Velcro. Alright, I got my Velcro strips ready. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll thread them through. You can see there's a short one, a medium, and long. Long one's going to be for the forearm area. This medium one's going to be for the wrist. The small one's going to be for the hand. There are two sides of the Velcro. One a soft plushy side, another sticky side. I did soft plushy side on top of my hand. So it would be more comfortable to use. Like if you feel it's too hard, too easy, or you just... Uh, <clears throat> Switch the bolts, and it might be easier to close. All right, this for instance. Let's see what. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else, what else to try and pick up with. Let's see, I need my scissors. Can't reach it. Put them back, stuff like that. Anyway, this is all the stuff you need for the ball catcher. Same applies to this piece. I cut it in half. That way this piece could sit flat and this piece can sit flat. 
that would save me a whole lot of uh, infill, or I should say support also. As for layering and stuff, I did two perimeters. For the most part, it was three top layers and between two and three bottom layers and nothing more than 5% infill. And trust me, this, this ain't gonna snap unless you really snap it. This thing printed one piece. This, I cut in half because they would have print like this way, right? That means there would have been support all under here. So what I did was cut it down the middle and printed it flat, like this way. Okay, anyway, let me put it together and we'll mess around with it. The tool, I did the same thing. <clears throat> Two primers, three top, three bottom or so. Came out a little messed up, but it's okay, it still works. And believe me, without this tool, your fingertips will be raw. Anyway. Just because everything looks cooler in slow motion. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. If you have any requests, leave them down below. Thank you.